pleasant Friday to you all. I'm Dr. Shamdi Opasad, the Chief Medical Officer, and I will bring you the daily COVID-19 update for June the 19th, 2020. We are approaching another weekend, and for many, if not all of you, as is customary, it will be a weekend of grand celebration as a way of showing appreciation to all our fathers and expectant fathers. We are cognizant that this is a special activity. However, it's our mandate to ensure that we celebrate with safety in mind. I'm sure your burning question is how can you celebrate and not meet in groups of over five? Or how can you celebrate wearing a mask? Those are relevant questions, but you have had the opportunity to acquire new skills and there are many platforms available for celebrating without being in person. We do urge you to utilize these platforms because this is surely one way to ensure that you remain COVID free and are alive next year to celebrate once more. It is one of the ways that we can try to keep another father alive to provide for his children. Fellow Guyanese, the guidelines remain the same. We are in COVID-19 times and we must adopt COVID-19 attitudes of bringing together, but in different places. Now for the update of the situation in Guyana. As of the 19th of June 2020, there have been no new cases. The total number of confirmed cases remain at 183 and the number of COVID-19 deaths remain at 12. We have conducted 2,048 tests so far with 1,865 being negative. 102 persons have recovered to date. In institutional isolation, we now have 69 active cases and 24 cases in institutional quarantine. There is no patient in the COVID-19 ICU. Yesterday, in referring to the relaxation of measures, I advised you to consider the experiences of countries that have embarked upon this before. I wish to remind you that we are at a much higher risk because COVID-19 is rampant in our bordering countries and we have not seen a reduction but a constant increase in the number of positive cases. In our analysis, we highlighted that males continue to be the sex most affected by this disease. Our adult population, especially 20 to 29 age group, is the most at risk according to our data. Regions 1, 4, and 7 are the regions most affected. And the mining community is now one of the most vulnerable group for the spread of this disease. Residents in region number 7, I wish to make a special appeal to you as the situation in your community is grave concern to the ministry. The Kuyuni Mazaruni region, notably Aranka, has the second highest number of confirmed cases. It's a mining community, which means that there is constant movement in and out of the area. This makes it extremely vulnerable for the disease to spread. Unless you, the residents in this area, wish to see an alarming spike in the number of positive cases and even deaths, I plead with you to act responsibly. Once you're positive, you must go to an isolation facility, which must be manned by the relevant and competent health workers. The ministry is relying on you to play your part. We are happy to share that with the completion of the first week, students being back at school, they have all report, responded positively to the guidelines. The Ministry of Education 
their regional staff and the health workers in the region must be congratulated for their efforts in implementing the guidelines. Now for the global update. According to the WHO, the total number of cases is 8,242,999 cases with 445,535 deaths. In the region of the Americas, the total number of positive cases is 4,015,386 with 208,991 deaths. Fellow Guyanese, the Ministry of Public Health salutes all fathers in Guyana, especially those who have complied with all the regulations in doing their part to protect their family members and children. Thank you for being good role models and setting the example. We hope that you will take the opportunity to reflect on your behavior if you are not adhering to the guideline and make the conscious decision to change these behavior patterns. We continue to commit to ensuring that the Guyanese people remain safe and healthy. Happy Father's Day. Let's remember to wash our hands, wear a face mask if out in public and maintain physical distance. I thank you.